Hello again film fanciers and welcome back to this YouTube channel, the plucky and relatable underdog of the online film reviewing world. And even before I've offered any evaluations at all, you're probably wondering how you can show your love for this vlog. The answer is by subscribing to this channel, which will cost you nada. And if you leave this vlog without subscribing, you will never forgive yourself and the guilt will eat you up inside. <laughs> The new Jessica Chastain film, The Eyes of Tammy Faye, is a feature film development of the High Camp documentary from 2000 of the same name, narrated by RuPaul. It was about Tammy Faye Baker, the Christian broadcaster and recording star and wife of the disgraced televangelist Jim Baker, who against the odds in Ronald Reagan's America became an LGBT heroine due to her support for people with HIV AIDS. Now Jessica Chastain plays Tammy Faye and Andrew Garfield is the egregious and slippery Jim. Amen. Mm -hmm. mm. Who's he fighting? A liberal agenda. Feminist agenda. Homosexual agenda. And mm. it's time for a reversal of these trends. Mm. The only hopes in, in saving America. Mm. You're back to the good old days. Mm. Mm. <laughs> well, I love our country, but well, America is for them too. <laughs> well, oh, Tam, would, mm. would you mind getting me another Coke? Jim, let your wife speak. Debate. I think it gets us all back to unity. Oh, I don't want to debate you, Jerry. I love you. I love all of you guys. Re Re Reverend Falwell. Yeah. We love you too, Tammy Faye. <laughs> yes, we just do. God is my witness. I made a pledge to continue to expose the sins in this country. The Bible explicitly forbids homosexuality. There's no gray area. Oh, well... You know, I, I, I don't think of them as homosexuals. I just think of them as other human beings that I love. You know, we're all just people made out of the same old dirt. And God didn't make any junk. <laughs> Jessica Chastain is absolutely superb as Tammy Faye, like Tammy Wynette with a hint of Nancy Reagan and Ava Perron. And Andrew Garfield is great as the man who remains, basically, in spite of everything, the love of her life, the slippery Bible huckster who has a free and easy way with other believers' money, ruthlessly gouging his TV flock for donations, which he uses to build up a media empire and a lavish personal lifestyle. The film praises Tammy Faye's non-homophobic attitude. Does that mean it averts its gaze from her complicity in Jim's wrongdoings? Kind of. The title, of course, as well as alluding to Tammy Faye's permanent eyeliner, riffs cheekily on the classic horror film The Eyes of Laura Mars, and it implies that, like Laura, Tammy is the horrified witness to things for which she is not personally responsible. In real life, Jim was accused of sexual assault by a church secretary and then accused of using donations to pay off the accuser. This film more or less takes at face value Tammy Faye's own stricken assumption that this was a matter of consenting infidelity and it's arguably whitewashing Tammy Faye just a little here. But all of my reservations are swept away by Jessica Chastain's hilarious and very sympathetic performance. Andrew Garfield is himself very good, and the same goes for Vincent D'Onofrio as the duplicitous Reverend Jerry Falwell, who deliberately fanned the media flames of scandal against the Bakers so that he could step in and take over their lucrative media fiefdom. It's very enjoyable. Mohamed Salah Harun, is the filmmaker from Chad who makes movies in the classic, quietist, walking pace African style. His new film is Lingui, or The Sacred Bonds. Amina, played by Achuak Abaka, is a single mother who has to pretend her husband is dead to prevent scandal in her religious community. Her daughter has been kicked out of school for getting pregnant, and Amina sympathises with her in spite of herself. And she has to consider how far she is prepared to abase herself to get the abortion her daughter wants. Amina, 
Well, he never's got to see. He never's got to see. Accident came again. The work I didn't Allah. Rabbina Kawana, you could Rabbina Makawana shame of you. I shall say, there was Bakari. Lack in Tahura, you say, like Magan Sapsi. This is a movie whose ostensible storytelling gentleness is actually at odds with the reality behind it, a story of misogyny and violence. There are stabs of sexuality and resistance which cut through the stoic calm. The word lingui means bonds, and the bonds of family and society are what's important here, the bonds that liberate rather than the ones that bind. This film's simple directness grows on you. Try it. That's it. Once again, can I prevail on you to show some decency and buy my book, The Films That Made Me, an edited selection of my reviews and essays for The Guardian. Next week, I'll be at the Berlin Film Festival, so I shall be doing some videos from there. Be seeing you.